In March 2023, a groundbreaking study was published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Solid Earth, shedding light on the remarkable transformation occurring in Africa. Think of a big crack appearing on a huge piece of land. That's what a rift is, a split in the ground. And guess what? Africa's got one of the biggest. The continent is dramatically changing, with its eastern part likely resulting in a new ocean between the two landmasses. This active continental rift zone, known as the East African Rift System EARS, stretches across Burundi, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Zambia, Malawi, and Mozambique. So, is Africa going to split apart completely? If yes, when and why? Before jumping on, a quick reminder to like the video, as it's the best way to help us grow. About 180 million years ago, during the Jurassic period, Earth looked quite different. Instead of the contemporary continents we are familiar with, there existed a vast unified landmass known as Pangaea. Within this ancient time, a region referred to as Gondwana existed. It could be envisioned as a substantial segment of Pangaea. Gondwana's western area encompassed Africa and South America, while its eastern counterpart held Madagascar, India, Australia, and Antarctica. But then a vast rift gradually emerged between Africa and South America. Around 140 million years ago, this crack gradually widened and changed into the South Atlantic Ocean. If you take a look at the western coastline of Africa and the eastern coastline of South America, you'll notice that they fit together, like two pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. This highlights how these continents were once connected as a single landmass. Imagine if you had an enormous magnifying glass to examine the Earth's surface in that era. You'd witness Africa is still slowly moving away from South America, almost like a slow-motion drift. It wasn't a speedy process. The Earth doesn't do things in a hurry. The reason Pangaea started to break apart Part is because of something called continental drift. The Earth's outer shell, called the lithosphere, isn't just one solid piece. It's divided into huge sections called tectonic plates. These plates float on a semi-fluid layer beneath them. Over millions of years, these pieces move around because of heat and movement in the Earth's molten interior. This movement of tectonic plates caused the supercontinent to crack along seams. These cracks or rifts grew over millions of years until they created deep valleys. Over even more time, these valleys filled with water, creating oceans. Now fast forward to today, we're seeing a similar process. But this time with Africa. The continent is splitting into two parts, like a slow-motion magic trick repeating itself. It is happening along the East African Rift. This rift started forming about 35 million years ago between the Arabian Peninsula and the pointy part of Africa's eastern side, which is called the Horn of Africa. As time went on, the Arabian plate began to move away from Africa gradually. This whole process led to the creation of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Over time, this split has moved southward and reached northern Kenya about 25 million years ago. The big split that's expected to happen in the future is connected to the East African Rift System. It's basically a really long crack, about 56 kilometers or 35 miles, that showed up in the desert of Ethiopia back in 2005. Even though this process of rifting has been going on for a while, it made headlines worldwide in 2018 when a huge crack made a sudden appearance in southwestern Kenya. The tear, which continues to grow, caused part of the Nairobi Narak Highway to collapse. This rift is like two sets of cracks in the Earth's surface, kind of running along alongside each other. One set goes through Ethiopia and Kenya in the east, while the other goes from Uganda and Malawi in an arc shape. One side is dry, while the other is close to the big rainforest in Congo. The East African Rift formed because of heat coming up from deep within the Earth's upper part, which is like the hotter, weaker layer beneath the ground. This heat made the surface layer, kind of like the Earth's skin, stretch and crack. This cracking led to a lot of volcanoes erupting, including the one that made Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's tallest mountain. All these cracks and the areas where earthquakes and volcanoes happen indicate that Africa is slowly stretching apart along multiple lines. These lines add up to about 0.25 inches per year. It's like the speed at which your toenails grow. Now, if Africa keeps splitting, there are different ideas about how it might happen. In one idea, a big part of the ground where Somalia is would move away from the rest of Africa. It would make a new piece of land with Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, and parts of Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique. Another idea is that only parts of eastern Tanzania and Mozambique might separate. But scientists are still trying to figure out exactly how it will happen. Experts said that if this splitting keeps up, the rift in Ethiopia and Kenya may split to create a Somali plate, which might take about 1 to 5 million years. Based on studying similar events from the past, geologists have a theory. They think the piece of land known as the Somalian plate could break away from the main part of Africa and move eastward toward the Indian subcontinent. Here's another thought. What if this Somalian plate actually bumps into the Indian tectonic plate someday? Well, scientists have thought about that too. They believe that if this collision were to happen, it could create a 
a brand new range of mountains called the Somalia Mountains. This would be because the land where these two plates meet would get pushed up, forming mountains. These new mountains might end up being really tall, even taller than the Himalayas. But because these processes happen really slowly, it could take more than 200 million years for this to actually occur. So what's the impact of all this? Well, African rifting actually has a big effect on the environment. You see, as the African Rift Valley gets bigger, it makes new walls that separate different animal and plant groups. It's like building a wall between neighbors. But there's more. When the land cracks, it can cause earthquakes. Buildings and roads can get damaged and fall apart. Rifting can also lead to volcanic eruptions. This ash can cover the fields, making it tough for plants to grow. It can even block the sun making the air all dusty and dark. So Africa splitting doesn't just change the shape of the land, it can cause many other things to happen too. But there's a chance the stuff causing the split might not be strong enough. This kind of thing has happened in many parts of the world, not just in Africa, like a place in North America called the Mid-Continent Rift, where the land started to split but then didn't fully break apart. Now here's the thing, we're not totally sure what's going to happen next. We're not sure if the splitting will keep going slowly, maybe making something like the Red Sea and later on something even bigger, like a smaller version of the Atlantic ocean. Or things could speed up, changes might come quicker, or maybe everything might just stop. Who knows whether humanity will still be here to witness any of these changes.